Well, like so many other things this year, the pandemic has caused cancellations. But one annual marathon in downtown Orlando survived. The OUC Half Marathon was the first in person in Orlando since the pandemic began. News 6's Amanda Castro was there asking what it meant to runners this year. Runners, say- And with that, the first in-person race since the pandemic began takes off. 2,000 runners racing through downtown Orlando for the OUC Half Marathon. It's something many say they missed. I think it's great just to have, um, you know, starting to have in-person races back and everything. But because of COVID-19, this year's race is different. Runners wearing masks before and after the race. But they didn't have to wear their face coverings while running. And signs posted along the course asking runners to keep their distance. They also spaced out the groups. Runners waiting on these orange dots for their turn. Every time one corral starts, the next corral is led forward. We have the little orange stickers on the ground so they know they're six feet apart. Betsy Hughes is with Track Shack. They're organizing the race. She says they're taking extra precautions to keep everyone safe. It's our first in-person event since March. And let me tell you, we've worked hard all summer and fall, making sure all our safety protocols are in place and will work. There weren't as many spectators watching the runners along the 13.1 mile course. But we did find Darlene Herndon cheering on her husband. She says he's been training for this and is grateful he got the chance to race. I think they were able to still have the race, which is awesome. And I think everybody's taking precautions. As volunteers cheered them on, handing out water while being socially distanced. Runners tell us they feel safe, saying it feels good to be back. Really, really uh, just proud of how John and Bessie have handled the situation and really joyful that they've given us an opportunity to race. So I consider this a gift and I hope that we all are good stewards of it. It's our very first finisher this morning. In Orlando, Amanda Castro. Your first female finisher this morning. Getting results. News 6.